Thank you very much, thank you. This is the Youth Brigade, that's why I'm the host, so that there'll be that much of a distinction. So the, yes, there's a distinction there between I am old enough that backstage there is a, oh, it's awesome, we're going to go see Natalie Portman's shaved head in the band. And I'm like, really? Natalie Portman shaved her head? And, they're, and it's that kind of sadness, you know how when kids look at you with that kind of sadness. I had a friend whose dad was a principal, and this was back many years ago, and it was like, uh, 69 is fine, and you'd see, you know, they, you'd see that graffiti, and he's, God, that sophomore class, they really have the spirit, you know, and you're looking at your, oh, dad doesn't know what 69 is, and you're like, you know, and it's so, you know, it's this thing where you look at your father with this, and they, they looked at me, and they're like, John, Natalie Portman didn't shave her head, that's the name of the band, it's like, you know, when I said, my mom used to say, oh, they're going to see The Kiss, or something like that. I felt that, that really stupid, that kind of thing where, with me, it's just, uh, right now, the way, the dialogue I have with my kids is when I see stuff that I don't understand. It used to be years ago, I just would assume it's some Pokemon thing. Like, what the fuck is, you know, like, oh, it's, this is, fits onto some Pokemon thing, and now I know it just has something to do with weed, right? It just goes from Pokemon to drug paraphernalia. It's just, what is this thing? I don't know what this is, but it smells like weed, so I don't know, I don't know what that is. But that's what it goes, like in Pokemon. Anyway, there's some, I see some young people in the audience here. How old are you? How old are you? 18. Okay, here's the thing, because I just had, my kids just had their wisdom teeth out. Have you ever had a cavity? You have. Okay, so you've had Novocaine? Yes, okay, see, this was the thing. My kids just had their wisdom teeth out, and they were like, oh, and the, and the dentist was like, oh, yeah, that's really common these days. That they go, like, kids, what's going on? Yeah, he's, he's never had a cavity, right? Yeah, he's never experienced Novocaine. It's his first numbness. And it's like, boy, that's going to be the first of just this gradual numbness that you're going to experience, you know, <laughs> wisdom teeth, then you're going to get caught with this passive-aggressive spouse who's going to make you want to go number in your head, you know, your hair is going to fall out, you're going to wish you had numbness, and numbness is going to be your friends, you know, it's just so, it's so different than when they're off going on, you know, off to college now and everything, and so they grew up, I grew up, I had all boys, essentially, and that's what happens to anybody in here who, who grew up in a place like that, or who knows that, anybody, anybody who had, when you get, when you have a few boys, we had a few, we had twins right off the bat, you know, twin boys, then we had another boy, then another boy, you know, because we screwed up, and it doesn't matter, it doesn't matter. <laughs> but when you had that many boys, then that becomes the boy house. Everybody understands that, right? You get, yes, I see some nods from some parents here. You get the boy house, and all the other boys come over because they say, go play in the house that's already destroyed. It's already, <laughs> it's already messed up. Don't, you know, play here, and it just, you know, it, it, you get into that sort of thing where, I love it. We're getting to that destroy house kind of weather here, where it's like, it's, you know, if we're here at Bumper Shoot, and you know it's just the end of summer, and you know it's getting towards that time that I, I call the Jim Foreman weather. It's coming, you know that, you know, when it starts to rain, you know, and it just starts to wash everything away, and then there's those people that they send Jim Foreman out to interview, you know, when he slogs through the water, and he always looks like he's coming down off some coke bender, you know what I'm talking about? And he's, slogging through there and he's going to the Skycomish or the Swinomish or the Skokomish River. Basically, if the Indians named it and it ends in ish, you don't fucking build there, okay? <laughs> Get a clue, right? And it's always far like, Gene and Dennis, I'm back! You know, and they're like, it's the same people. You see their possessions floating by and you feel like, you feel so much better about yourself than you're not this moron over there and it's always the same thing about, we never thought this would happen. Even though it happened last year, and the year before that, and the year before that. You gotta move. No, we don't think that'll happen again. You know, it's just all these. Move out where they have these strange area codes. It used to be so easy in this city where, you know, it's 206 here and 509 over the other side of the mountains where they fucking hate us. They hate us over there. And I know this because I bought property in Ellensburg, which is another interesting Indian name. I don't know if anybody knew this. Ellensburg, it's, a, it's a, an old Indian name that means stop and pee here. I don't know if anybody knew that. <laughs> right? You've all had the Ellensburg argument, right? No, we're not stopping and peeing at Easton or there you go. You pee in Ellensburg. Anyway, we bought property over there, and they had this term for us that was like, you, you 206ers, this is what they're... they're you come over here and you ruin everything. We're 206ers to them, which they, 
Yeah, you can't be anymore. I know we're in the 206, I believe we are here in downtown Seattle, but those people over at Microsoft invented all that shit that had to be plugged in to phones and things, and we ran out of here. All that stuff that they call solutions. You ever notice that, that people in the high-tech industries, they're always like, no, what we, what we make is a solution, your IT solution. Your, uh, isn't any product that's ever been made basically a solution? You know, pants. <laughs> your ass hanging out in the wind solution. You know? <laughs> but they invented that, we ran out of area codes. There's 206, and, you know, Magnolia, it has its own, I know, they're outside, but one good rain, they slide down into the 206 to call my hilltop area 911, which is very convenient. <laughs> yeah. Mercer Island has one, it's unlisted, we don't know what it is, and then just up the hill at uh, Capitol Hill, it's pound 69. I don't know if anybody knew that. A second 69 reference, yes! We got it going on, we got it going on.